of the deck top to bottom to not make the little mistakes. The, the edges are much smaller when you're playing lands. Uh, one of the reasons we might not see as much of it is because some of the lands are mega expensive. Expensive. When uh, you talk about a land like Tabernacle of Pendrel Vale, it costs as much as the rest of the deck combined, right? So I've been putting lands together myself. I'm uh, three cards away from having it completed and about $3,000 away from having it completed. So there are some expensive ones there. Kevin King trying to lead on one of the key cards for the lands, Exploration. Kenta Hiroki, however, ready with that spell pierce. Yeah, and Kevin King's a, a known lands player. I believe he won the, the Duel for Duels at the Star City uh, Summer Event, playing lands. Here's another attempt at exploration for Kevin King. Kenta going to go ahead and cast Brainstorm. Along those same lines, Kenta Hiroki, a known Delver player, mm -hmm. played a lot of Blue-Red Delver very early on in the format, uh, did very well on the Magic Online Legacy events, the Legacy Challenges, just a routinely top eight placing competitor in those tournaments. Knows his way around a Delver for sure. The exploration is going to resolve, and it's followed up by a gamble. Oof. Gamble's one of my favorite magic cards of all time. Yeah, you like this one? Absolutely. Love this effect. Get to go into the library, find anything you want, and then you're going to discard at random. But it doesn't feel like a gamble. Not when you're grabbing life from the low. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually just a win-win, and that's often the play here in these lands decks. But you get some versatility, too. Sometimes you just need something else, and you could take your shot. One of those fun moments where you get a 50-50 chance to just close out the game or maybe lose on the spot. And, and this is already a, a great spot for Kevin King. Uh, he, he's set up with the Life from the Loam and the Exploration. Yep. He, he has a Blast Zone to deal with opposing threats that he can rebuy over and over. And in, in a battle of resources, the land stack is just going to win easily. I think you're absolutely right. There's a big onus on the Delver players in this matchup to do things quickly. And I think these team rebuilds are slowing down a little bit. Something like Ren and Six, more of a mid-range tool, not an aggressive tool. The old blue-red builds were a little bit more suited to play this kind of matchup. Extra Chain Lightnings, that matters a lot. More Dreadheart Arcanist, that can matter a lot. But here, more of a mid-range slant on Kenta Hiroki's deck. And that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to navigate through all these recursive answers that Kevin King has access to. Here's a Wasteland. Decent start. Follow-up play, Tarmogoyf. Big body on that Tarmogoyf. Well, let's see what Kevin can put together here. Going to take a draw. We're assuming life from Loam in the hand. We don't know that. Haven't spotted it yet. Time for another gamble. It's not a gamble. <laughs> Craig is offended by the name of this card. Erroneous, not a gamble. Erroneous. Yeah, yeah he, I, I would expect Kevin to just go search up another utility land, whatever uh, the, the hole is in his hand right now. And even if it gets discarded, it's coming back from life from Malone. You, you know, one goif is not the pressure that the other side needs. Yeah, when your engine is running as the lands deck, you have so many layers of redundancy that's almost impossible for a deck like Delver to work its way through that. And here you see, now we're going to do the recursive wasteland thing as well. So Kent Hiroki going to be mana starved, quite likely. Yeah, and one, maybe two more turns, and we could see Kenta just, just pack this up. If Kevin shows him a way to, to interact with this Tarmogoyf, Yeah, we know there's plenty in the deck. He's the, the Wasteland, Rashad and Port, pretty brutal against these team or Delver strategies. Yeah, Kenta may not be casting too many more spells in this game. Kenta Hiroki starting to make his presence felt here on the SCG Tour. A few top eights this season. Zero basics in Kenta's deck. How do you beat two wastelands a turn on zero basics? 
Well, if you're able to counter the life from the loan, you know, two, three times, mm -hmm. that'll do it. That's the game plan. Early clock, early disruption. That's your only way through. Here's a spell snare on that life from the loam. Okay. Kevin King going to go ahead and fetch with Wooded Foothills. Founds Taiga. Going to do a little porting. And we're back to Kenta Hiroki's turn. Finds another land. That's good. Yeah, that's actually important if he can't keep countering this life from the loam. Mm -hmm. He's got to keep making land drops. Some more Tarmogoyf beats. And on the opposing side, uh, Kevin really wants to stabilize before he, he's in lightning bolt range. You know, one or two lightning bolts being able to finish him off is, is not the position he wants to be in. Absolutely. Dredging life from the loam. Again, casting life from the loam. There's some bangers in the graveyard now, including Mazabeth. Yeah, that was a good find. That'll help protect the life total a bit. Grow over the burn willows. We also saw a punishing fire placed into the graveyard, so that'll contain that Delver. Setup starting to look real nice here for Kevin King. Punishing fire on Delver of Secrets. That's going to hit the bin. We're going to go ahead and play Maze of Ith, pass the turn to Kenta, and uh, damage sources. Running out real fast for Kenta Hiroki. Yeah, this is the spot you want to be in as, as the lands player. And it just seemed, you know, pretty inevitable that we would get here. There is that Maze of Ith activation on Tarmogoyf. Kenta Hiroki just passes the turn back. We're going to dredge Loam again. Double punishing fire now in the graveyard. Time for a wasteland. I bet it's going to be time for another wasteland. Yep, here's Loam. Wasteland and a couple friends. Why not get a Blast Zone? Yep. Just another insurance policy. In case you need it. This is a great, great addition for this deck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kevin is going to go ahead and Wasteland once more. Turn headed back to Kenta Hiroki. And that is going to do it. Kenta's yep. going to go ahead and scoop him up. Just not a lot of ways to interact with the land strategy in game one. Going to be some help in the sideboard for both players, quite frankly. But Kenta Hiroki really gets to refine the game plan, find some way to interact with what lands is up to. Although I will say, lands not the concern it was a few months ago. And I think some of the key pieces have been dialed back in these Team or Delver lists. Why don't we go ahead and take a look? at those sideboards right now. We'll start over on Kenta's side. There you see two Ancient Grudge, two Surgical Extraction, one Force of Negation, one Cinder Vines, one Graft Digger's Cage, one Vapor Snag, Engineered Explosive, Submerge, Crop Rotation, Pyroblast, Hydroblast, Caracas, and Red Elemental Blast. What do you want to do if you're over on Kenta's side? So, I like a good bit of these cards. Surgical Extraction seems great. The Force of Negation I like a lot. We've talked yesterday about the little extra line of text on Force Negation where it exiles the spell. That can be huge with, uh, you know, the, the dredge spells. Yep. You know, anything that's recursive out of the graveyard. Um, there is, you know, an argument to be made for some of these disenchant effects because exploration and Mox Diamond are so important for the land stack. Uh, and then potentially just the crop rotation, it, it guarantees you can find yourself a wasteland. And if you ever run in six going, you just want that Wasteland so bad. 100%. Also, a little protection from Wasteland as well. Yep. Important feature of crop rotation. Yeah, I, I think Force of Negation being able to exile life from the loam is a big get for these Teamer Delver decks in this matchup. But it usually does come down to something like Surgical Extraction. You need to stop this recursion at all costs. Really yep. a priority for Kenta Hiroki. Meanwhile, on Kevin King's side, we are looking at three Surgical Extractions, two Sylvan Safekeeper, two Sphere of Resistance, two Force of Vigor, a Sorcerer's Spyglass, Thorn of Amethyst, Ancient Grudge, Cross and Grip, Trinisphere, and Glacial Chasm. What do you want to do if you're a lands player? So I, I think Kevin is, is very happy playing against these Teamer Delver strategies with his deck. Agreed. This is what you want the metagame to be, these semi-aggressive, semi-controlling decks 
that don't have tons of reach and they aren't super explosive and you're just able to grind them out in the, the resource game. Uh, that being said, his main deck is so good against that strategy, I don't think he's going to change a lot of things going into this game. I can see a card like Trinisphere coming in and just really jamming up the opponent on mana. Um, but a, a lot of these other cards, I, I don't think he needs them. I don't think he wants to draw many of these cards in his opening hand against the opposing deck. I agree with you. Looking for very small tweaks here from Kevin King. Basically, he brought this deck thinking he would play this matchup a lot, looking to exploit it. And it's one of those things where you want to be the most mid-rangey thing, right? Yeah. You kind of want to scale over the other decks, and I think Lands does a very good job of that when all the other decks are floating to the middle a little bit. Things like Four Color Snow, things like Team or Delver, they're slowing down. Not as much aggression in the format, and almost no combo, Craig. We talked about this a little bit yesterday after the show. I just haven't seen it out there, really at all. Even if you count Reanimator among combo decks, not a lot of Reanimator here, almost no Storm whatsoever. Yep. It feels like combo just not a thing in Legacy right now. Yeah, I, I think it's a tough road to hoe if you're trying to play combo, just because people are showing up with so much hand disruption or, you know, force of will, force of negation days, and there's enough out there to kind of suppress that deck right now, especially when everyone's kind of doing that mid-rangey thing. Yeah, that's, that's been my experience with the format as well. Just a tough time to make combo work. I mean, Depths is kind of what combo looks like now, but even that, as far as legacy combo goes, a little bit slower. Yeah, we, we, we talked yesterday about how the Depths decks have even slowed down a little bit from the all-in combo versions to right. being just a little more disruptive in the early game and taking that extra turn before they go off. Right. Well, we're marching to our top eight right now, and as you know, we always let our subscribers vote on our quarterfinals match. And it's a particularly good time to become a subscriber to the SCG channel right now because it is September brought to you by Subway. Yeah. 50 Free off. subs for that everyone. That is not how it works, Craig. Please do not say that. We are not responsible if you are unable to get free subs. I, I no. wish that was the case. Go to Subway. Tell them it's September and that Twitch, you know, it's giving away free subs. And when that goes wrong, it, you want to direct all complaints to at Craig Kremples at Basic on, Mountain on, at Basic Mountain, <laughs> where all complaints about anything related to Star City should be going. So it's not free subs. Right, it's, it's not free subs. 50% off subs. Correct, Craig. 50% so off. my 6 inch sub is no, going to be a 3 no, no, inch no, no, sub. No, no, no. You are confused, sir. 50% off subscriptions to the SCG Tour channel where you'll also get access to not only quarterfinal voting, but those emotes I love so much. You know what I ask you to do at this point in time, spam that game podcast emote. Oh, look at you. Game podcast might be dead. <laughs> it's arena deck list now, but we still love the emote over in chat. Now I understand. Mm-hmm. You get it now. 50% off subscriptions mm -hmm. and a plug for Brian. Yes. Yep. That is that is the key to that slide, Greg. That's how you deliver that effectively. I don't know if Cedric and Patrick got that memo yet. I'll make sure we have them appropriately plugging my content during that uh, that bit of advertisement. It's like we're still resolving mulligans here. All right, players are scooping them up. I think I saw seven on Kenta's side. Looks like seven on Kevin's side as well. I think Kenta took six. Okay. Mana Bond. That's an explosive start for this lands deck. Kenta's going to want to react to that. Starting by cracking a fetch land. Number of Mana Bonds has gone down mm -hmm. in lands. You don't see it as often. It's a risky proposition, the Mana Bond. It is. And the lands deck actually has reduced the number of lands it plays over time. We're down to 35 lands now in Kevin King's deck. You go back, it used to be 48, <laughs> yeah. 49. So. Yeah. It, but even 35 is just... It's a lot. It's so great. It's a lot. Brainstorm. So we're looking for an answer to this mana bond. Do you think it's answer a bust here? Do you just fall too far behind if you're Kenta Hiroki? So Kenta... Drew a surgical extraction, which is huge in this this position, because the mana bond, if they don't have life from the loam, the mana bond is good once. Okay. So I wonder if Kenta is going to let this resolve. The opponent discards, you know, puts all their lands in play, discards their hand, and then he can just surgical extraction 
the life from the loam if it's there. I think Kenta has multiple, multiple options here. Had both force of negation and force of will. Going to go ahead. Force of will that. And the turn passes back to Kenta Hiroki. Delver, there's the pressure. Only one land. Little scary, wants to dodge a wasteland. Port, also scary, but we're gonna do Punishing Fire instead. Take out that Delver, makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, just every card feels so good. You know, the Delver player, uh, Mulligan, so he's down a card, and then he casts the Force of Will, so he's down another card, and then you easily pick off his only threat. He's missing land drops, it just feels like, you know, the, the Rashad and Port, the Wasteland, the Life from Loom, like all these cards are just so good right now. Yeah, this game could be over real quick. Kenta still missing land drops. Going to go ahead and port on upkeep now. Really needs to find some mana. Found a brainstorm. That'll help in the future. But for right now, <laughs> Kevin King just gets to develop. And that's bad news for a team or Delver player. Here's a Mox Diamond. Pitching Maze of it. Doesn't even need that anymore. I think he has Tabernacle in hand as well. Just all the answers. Going to get Dark Depths onto the battlefield. Mox Diamond puts out Exploration. That is going to stick. Just going to go ahead and pass the turn back. And port on upkeep. believe Kenta will likely respond with Brainstorm here. But it might be too little too late. Here is a Brainstorm. No land. Super tough spot. No land. I mean, that's that's the game. S super tough spot. It looked like he had a crop rotation in his hand. Okay. Um, do something, but yeah, I mean, get a shuffle. It, it allows him to free up a land for a turn. The opponent ports in, in response. You, you sacrifice that land. You get an untapped one. Yep. And it's going to shuffle away the top card of his library. Yep. But it's, I mean, that's so many resources to use just to get one untapped land for one turn. Yep. And here's Thespian Stage. Kent is going to go ahead and untap here and yeah, just extend yeah, the hand. Yeah. I think there was nothing Kenta could really do. Only one land. Going to be very difficult to put together a coherent game plan against Kevin King in that scenario. Yeah, I mean, the 2020 was coming down that turn, and Kenta was going to have no lands to work with. Yeah, got to feel for Kenta a little bit in that spot. But as we said, a difficult matchup. There's yeah. a reason Kevin yeah. King brought that deck this weekend, and there's a reason Kevin King now moving to 9-2. and two. Good stuff for the lands player. How about we get some time-shifted magic ready for you all? We're going to take a brief break, get that all set up. Craig and I will come back. We'll do another match for you. Don't go anywhere.